Good morning, CES. Today is Tuesday, February 16th, 2021. I am Mrs. Holdhouse, your school counselor, and these are your weekly announcements. We have some birthdays to celebrate this week. In second grade, we are celebrating Parker and Madeline. In first grade, we celebrate Sadie, Dominic, and Avery. In pre-K, it is Arabelle's birthday. And we have some special staff members' birthdays this week. Mrs. Miss B, our sensational speech pathologist, and our amazing principal, Mrs. Farnell. This birthday song is for all of you. It's your birthday, your birthday. Celebrate your, celebrate your happy day. It's your birthday, your birthday. Celebrate your, celebrate your happy day. Celebrate your, celebrate your happy day. Celebrate your, celebrate your happy day. Celebrate your, celebrate your. We hope you have a wonderful birthday. This month, we are learning about the character trait of respect. And Logan Lyon tells us that we are to treat others with respect and follow that golden rule. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Be tolerant of differences, use good manners, be considerate of others, listen to others, don't threaten to hurt or hit anyone, and deal peacefully with your anger. And you can use your red zone tools for that one. This week is, we have Exact Path Wednesday. So this week on Wednesday, if you haven't already taken your diagnostic assessments in reading and math for first and second grade and reading for K, please take it on Wednesday. Do your best. Make sure you do the assessment on your own. Some of the questions you may get, you might not know yet, and that's okay. Just try your best on your own. Your teachers want to see what you already know and what you need to work on. Let us start our day all together now with our Cub Pledge. I know you know it. As a good cub, I will respect myself, respect others, respect learning, and respect property. I believe that when I work hard, I will succeed. So I will work hard each day to do my best. And let us stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your hand on your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Boys and girls, remember February is African American History Month. This week, we will be learning about May Jameson, the first African-American woman to become an astronaut. We will also be learning about other famous African-Americans, including an artist and an athlete. Can't wait to hear all about them. Don't forget that Cubby's Corner has started up again in the month of February. Every Sunday night, CES will post a video of a different teacher or staff member or special guest reading a favorite book to you. With your parents' permission, you can find us on our CES YouTube channel or on our CES Facebook page at 7 p.m. every Sunday night for the month of February, we will be featuring African-American authors. Boys and girls, I have your Zones Toolbox Tool of the Week. And this week we're going to work on staying in the green zone with kindness. Kindness is a tool that you can use to stay in the green zone. 
We've talked a lot about how we get to the green zone when you're having feelings in the blue zone and the yellow zone and the red zone. But what can you do if you're in the green zone to stay there? Because that's where we want to be. You can do lots of things. But my favorite green zone tool is spreading kindness. That's right. Did you know that when you're kind to others, you are not just helping them, but you're doing something good for you? Scientists have researched and found that when you spread kindness, even in a tiny way, like smiling or being polite or saying something nice to someone, it releases a chemical in your body called oxytocin, and that helps you to feel good. It's the same chemical that's released when you get a warm hug, when a mom holds her baby, or when you hold a sweet puppy or kitten. So this week, talk to your teacher about ways that you can be kind. It will help you and those around you stay in the green zone. And as it so happens, this week, we have a special day called Random Acts of Kindness Day on February 17th. That is on Wednesday. To celebrate Random Act of Kindness Day, we will be creating a Random Act of Kindness bulletin board. All of us, the whole school, you will work with your teacher to draw or write a Random Act of Kindness that you have done for someone or that you're planning on doing. If you're virtual, you can complete your own random act of kindness art and take a picture of it. Your teacher will be collecting them and sharing them with me, Mrs. Holdhouse. I'll be putting them up on a bulletin board so that we can all see all of the amazing kind acts that CES does. And I know that's gonna help me feel in the green zone. Thank you for showing, showing such kindness and being a wonderful CES Cub. I know that you are going to be remembering your CES virtual learning matrix and doing your very best this week. Boys and girls, you have a wonderful, kind week.